ever feel like you were scared to lose everything? Chasing a life full of darkness for the better things Doubting yourself and having all them second thoughts Try to get to the top of life without getting caught Up in the limelight, wondering when the time's right Leaving a crime life, pain turn into high life Contemplating, what if I don't make it? That's eight years gone and I just can't forsake it You know, Gears of War is the game that really lifted my channel from having 100 to 500 inactive subs. I don't know what, what I'd rather have, inactive subs or no subs at all. At the end of the day, subscribers is just a number. If you don't have anybody watching your video, what's the point of having that many subscribers? Originally, I wanted to make this a super sappy video where you guys would feel bad for me, but I don't want pity or anything like that. I just want to show you what's been sent to me in the past. And I'm not talking about penis pictures or anything, so just get that out there. This is supposed to be a serious video, okay? <laughs> At one point in time, I was making the top-notch, high-class commentaries of my YouTube career. I guess you could call it that. Uh, and I, I, I would, I'd admit that my commentaries have downgraded from when I used to do Gears of War commentaries. And that's because I've wasted all my commentary ideas back in the day. It's hard for me to come up with interesting, funny topics that people would laugh at. But that's not my problem. My problem with all the liars I've come across in the Gears of War community. I mean, at one point you guys were saying, I'm your favorite commentator, you love my commentaries. But now all of a sudden, what, what happened? Did, did, did we break up? Are we not married anymore? Is, is this the divorce? Did you just leave me with a baby? Are you my black father? No racial, by the way. I'm not saying that, you know, black people have their kids or anything, but that's the majority of them do. I'll be showing you some messages that I got from some respectable people out there, and some nice comments, but also some comments that never fell through. You know, it's perfectly fine with me if you didn't want to do a dual commentary with me. You know, you could have just came out and said, oh, I'm too busy, or no, I don't think my channel would, you know, my channel audience would like that. You know, I would be perfectly fine. But when people say they're going to do something and don't follow through, that's when I just get frustrated with the whole idea of it. I've had a few messages saying that in my like one year posting Gears of War videos. And that's basically just a lot of wasted time. If all the subscribers I gained, if they were all there when I was doing Gears of War, when I was with a team, and now all of a sudden I leave, Oh, yeah, you remember when I commented saying you're my favorite commentator? Uh, yeah, I was just kidding, just because this other big YouTube guy commented on your video, so I, you know, I, I just have to say that too, because, you know, I'm cool with that guy. I honestly miss all the fake personalities and fake voices in the so-called Gears of War community. I really, really do, you know. I miss all the people brown-nosing each other, if that's what the cool kids call it still, by sticking their nose in other person's butt trying to ride them for subscribers and views. Trust me, if I had a fake personality, I would be partnered with a thousand or more subscribers right now. In my opinion, my channel, my YouTube channel, is like the equivalent to underground music. You know, what people hear on the radio is mainstream, and they're not gonna give underground artists the chance to grow and gain more fans because they hear Drake and 2 Chains all the time on the radio. Lil Wayne saying he slept in bed with a long neck's wife. Future. Screaming, you know, all these rappers on the radio, they're horrible, yet people listen to them, which is the equivalent to the Gears of War community. All the big guys in the Gears of War community, right place, right time, horrible commentators, horrible fake personalities, and people listen to them because they're, they're the big guys in that community. Whatever the big YouTuber says goes you know no little guy could stand up to that because they're automatically wrong obviously the big guys would make a troll video saying oh go troll this guy he's dead wrong and that's why i missed the gears of war community so much because all the eight-year-old drama that went on it, it's like it's like if i was a, a popular white girl in high school you know that that's my dream to be a popular white girl in high school and uh, it's like saying that I slept with 7,000 guys, 7,000 black guys, you know, that, that's, that's how much drama that the Gears of War community had. So to get to the point, I miss you and I also hate you.
will we ever be married again? I don't know. We'll have to wait until judgment comes out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat you up like Chris Brown and then kiss Frank Ocean. So, that's all I'm saying. I just hate the fact that everyone in the Gears of War community now has a fake personality. You know, whether it's doing the obvious Halo 4 and Call of Duty teams that every Gears of War team started because they thought Halo was going to be the next big thing, which it obviously isn't because that game sucks. I just want to say I have no respect for anyone that solely posts Gears of War content anymore because they're all in it just to ride the bigger guy's ego and gain their subs and views off the bigger guy. I mean, not like my respect mattered to anybody in the Gears of War community, but, you know, I just wanted to voice my opinion. I miss doing these types of commentaries where I rant and I put intro music in the beginning, so I thought it would be a perfect time to do so. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Just remember, anyone from the Gears of War community watching this, I miss you and I also hate you with all my heart. So, big, big hugs and kisses and I hope we meet again sometime when judgment comes out so yeah bye bye